The world's unions have met at a critical time. The financial crisis is now having a dreadful impact on the workers of the world and their families. We are losing jobs, we are facing uh, a cut to the uh, global economy and indeed to global, uh, the global impact then in terms of domestic economies will mean that working families are very worried about their future, about job security, about security of incomes, about a capacity to plan for a future where they know they can uh, manage for themselves and their children. We have a set of demands for the world's government. We must not see business as usual. Working people to serve through their unions, to have a say in the shape of the future, whether it's global uh, regulation of the financial system, whether it's the nature of uh, trade and development, whether in fact it's uh, at the international level or at the, the national level around the development and the shape of their economies. So managing the crisis, having a say in the future shape of a globalised world, these are the things that uh, are concrete proposals with much more detail coming out of this meeting. And let's not forget uh, climate change because we face a double crunch, the impact of the financial crisis and the need to actually save the planet for our children and our grandchildren. We believe that you can uh, stimulate economies through investment in uh, green energy and through uh, the kinds of policies around our industries that are trade exposed, energy intensive industries, we can put a global floor that makes them more efficient. So greening every workplace, growing new green jobs, stimulating our economies and making sure that people in the most vulnerable of, uh, of the countries of the world are looked after in solidarity, both in terms of jobs, in terms of uh, energy security for the future, and indeed in terms of development and assistance. I'm very proud of the work that the Council's done here uh, over the last few days, and uh, you'll see a great deal of solidarity as we take these messages to our governments. Uh, we must never again see extreme capitalism based on greed destroy the very foundations of security for working people, and we demand a right to have a say in the shape of a future where globalisation is much fairer.